Today we have the 98 and 99 side rabbit planes. These are two planes that are considered a left and a right. The 98 is the right and gets pushed from the left to the right and the 99 is the left and gets pushed from the right to the left. The main purpose of these planes is to widen a rebate. So if you've cut a dado um, or a rabbit, however you want to call it, in a piece of timber, these are used inside the wall to make it a little bit wider. So if you've uh, taken a piece of timber and you've cut a dado in the piece of timber to accept another board and you find that you can't slot your board in because the width is just a hair too narrow and your board won't slide in there. By taking one of these and shaving it out, you can then fit your board in. Now, one thing with these is, of course, you would have noticed the foot, how far back it is from the blade. So if you're going into a closed data, you're going to find that a little bit difficult to use. It's not going to go very far in. It's great if you're going all the way through or it's a long rebate, something like that. If you're widening a window frame because the window is sticking um, and you need to get into the data section of the window frame to wind it, uh, widen it, this is fine. One thing to note, however, is the nose is reversible. So you end up with a bull nose section which enables you to get a lot further in and then you can finish it off with a chisel. Bull nose is reversible simply by undoing the screw at the back and I've already loosened this one so I can take it out nice and quickly. And very carefully pull it out and it spins around and there's only one way it goes in because you've got a recess cut in to that one side whereas the other side is completely flat. So there's only one way it goes in to accommodate the screw. This one's a little bit tight, could use a little bit of cleaning oil, but it's as simple as that. So you'll note the recess on this side is there to take the toe when it's flipped around the other way. But it's basically pop it out, spin it around, drop it in, toe goes in that space there and it's all ready to use. Of the two, the 99 is the rarer of the two. The 98 was actually released first um, to test the market and the market went pretty well. They're reasonably common. You find 98s all over the place. The 99 came later and was a bit rarer. Ironically, they do make a nice pair and you'll find if you're working rebates from one end to another, you will have a tendency to jump from one of these to the other, depending on which piece of that or which end of that rebate you're currently working. These over time uh, have had some issues with breaking um, and especially up around this section here where the knob is and you've got a narrow section there. You can sometimes find a crack across there, but they're very simple to use. They have a skew sharpened end, although it cuts flat when it's touching the timber, and it's skewed predominantly just to cover the length of it across the plane. Instead of trying to run the blade down the skate, it frees the blade from the skate, allowing you to have a very thin skate. This comes in particular use if you're, um, instead of cutting straight, you're cutting at an angle to get a dovetailed dado uh, for a shelf set or something like that where you want that timber located on the 90 degree angle and you don't want it to come apart. This enables you to tilt and get under the shoulder and clean it up or widen it off a little bit if that's what you need. And the nice narrow skate at the bottom gives you that ability. Later ones did come with a fence. 
Now the fences are often lost and you won't have them come with the plane. I've actually not seen a fence other than in pictures. Um, these ones are earlier ones, so they don't have the fence. And how you can tell if they are made for a fence is you'll find there's a bit of a V-groove there as a locating slot to keep the fence square to the base of the plane. So there's the 98 and 99. One matter that is of particular note is these knobs. These knobs are favoured, especially for those that have a Stanley number one. The reason they're favoured is the knobs are the same as the knobs on a Stanley number one. I don't know if we can get a good picture of that and show it how. There you go. So those knobs are the same size knob. To buy a knob for a Stanley number one is going to cost you an arm and a leg. To buy a number 98, which is the more common of these two, it's going to cost you less. And that knob will transfer straight over to a number one. So if you've got a number one missing that front knob, it's a shame to butcher and use a 98 or a 99 as a parts donor. But from a value perspective, having a complete number one is worth a lot more than having a complete 98 or 99. Whether you're a user or a collector, happy hunting.